So what's up? If you can hear that train in the background, that's because we got the door open because it got hot in here. Oh, okay. Oh, hey, look, see, let me know I misspelled wandering, which I will change. You won't know that. But you know what? No, no, no. Look, look, full disclosure. I spelled it W O N D E R I N G. I, it'll, you're not going to see that. <clears throat> not at all. You know? So, here's the thing. Watch the movie The Wandering Earth, May 2019. Came out in February in theaters. And you know what? This movie is excellent. Mm hmm. This movie is so excellent, it hurt. <laughs> you laughing, hurt? but yes, I'm, hurt? I'll, I'll, I'll get to it. But uh, let's see if I'm. Let me see if I can remember what you said last night. A little bit of the day, the movie grossed in the United States, no worldwide, six hundred ninety nine point some million dollars mm -hmm. worldwide. It cost what fifty million to make. Mm -hmm. Fifty million to make. Uh, top three grossing um, Chinese movie of all time. Something like that. Let's... Top ten worldwide sci-fi grossing movie of all time. Something like that. You got it right. It's, China, it's China's third highest grossing film of all time. 2019's tenth highest grossing film worldwide. The third highest grossing non-English film to date. And uh, one of the top 20 highest grossing science fiction films to date. And yet, there were some negative reviews. That made no sense. Because they was like, character development. I am going to say this firsthand. You don't need character development for this movie. Nah, you don't. You don't need to know jack about any character. Because... There's only two characters, actually three characters that make the whole movie. Like, I mean, like, everything else is just exposition. Earth, gravity, and the subsidiary plot that was only exposed for a tiny bit. And it's a plausible plot. Matter of fact, I think... Have you ever heard that thing called Set Up to Fail? Because that is what it sounded like. Yeah. Now, this movie is about getting, leave, I mean, I don't know what year it was. It didn't really go it, 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 I think I saw 2049. Um, you know, now that could have been when things really started to happen. But basically, they expressed climate change. But not by man-made, but it was more like, you know, the sun is, is, is going to die. It's starting to expand. And it's going to do it in 100 years, and we'll be gone. You know, in 100 years, it's, it's, it's over. <clears throat> and it'll take out the whole solar system. So, the idea is we can't leave the planet because we, <laughs> we held ourselves back because we stupid. So, we get ambitious. And we move the planet. And I'm like, wouldn't that, you know, that level of thrust, but now I'm not spoiling anything. No, this is all within the first five, six minutes of the movie. Yeah, they set the whole stage for you. They don't leave anything out. And not only is it in the beginning, it's partially sprinkled out, but it's definitely at the end. And they have to move the whole earth. And I'm going to tell you, <clears throat> they did beautiful with all the space stuff. Mm -hmm. Showing Earth moving through space, showing it outright beauty. I was always captivated. Here's one thing it, it messed me up. When they showed Jupiter, um, one time, I think, from Earth, it was a little too close from my dreams but I've had five re of the same reoccurring dream where I could see the gas giants Jupiter remaining being one in in orbit well not in our orbit but you know you can just see it naked eye at night you can just see it and this movie slightly touched on it and it was awesome 
they show they made sure you saw what they were talking about and i like Maybe, that yeah you i mean if they described it they ended up showing it and you're like whoa so you didn't have to sit there and try to pause and try to figure it out no you saw it there were so many things they showed uh if you're getting closer to jupiter and why they showed trajectories. They should. They did everything. Now, did they? Would they get everything one hundred percent scientifically accurate? That's up to debate because science is now more debatable than religion, and stubborn far, far, far into the stubbornness. But the characters, nice. The movie does a full circle. It helps. Um, yeah, you can just ask. You can just ask. You, you know, I'm you, trying, you, not you interrupt. trying not to interrupt. Okay. You. <laughs> the movie does a good full circle. The movie you don't get absolutely engrossed. You don't. Here, okay, let me explain. You don't get engrossed with the characters. Anyone that says you must get engrossed with the characters, they 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 ain't thinking. They are very shallow. All right. And I'm gonna throw it out there because I I have to do it every damn review because it just exploits itself. When people say they can't relate to the characters because well they're not white, they don't have my background. I don't know anything about them. I don't understand. I'm just lost. But the people that just watch a movie, you know, granted they ain't black. They don't they, they don't know my life. What, what the fuck they got to do with me? No, it ain't like that. Just watch watch movie. the damn movie. <laughs> Let's watch the movie. Watch the movie. Now, it's Chinese. Dubbed English. Voices are good. Timing is relatively really good. Really good. Really good. Music, too damn loud. I mean, but it's a... That's just how my movies are now. Movies just do that stupid movies. shit. Hear my score. See how loud it is? I know it's hard to hear the people, but don't you like the music? No, motherfucker, I want to hear them talk so I can follow along. You know, if you can just shut them the fuck up and play music the whole thing, fine. We got, you know, we got ourselves an old school animated Disney movie. <laughs> but that ain't what we're here for. Let Disney play loud music and have alligators throwing up, you know, hippopotamus and shit. <laughs> you know, but we want to see some, some stuff here. Now, the Earth Thrusters, uh, was, that, was that what it was called? Yeah. Earth Thrusters, I can't remember. I mean, really, really, they were awesome. I loved the CGI in this because you couldn't tell. Mm -mm. There might be some CGI where you're like obvious, but no. Now, Truth be, be told, you got to be staring at. You got to be looking for it. Mm -hmm. You have to look for it because if you're watching the movie, you're not gonna see it. I'm promising you that. You're just watching the movie. You're holding on. And that's, wow. The movie, The Wandering Earth, I, I can't honestly praise it enough. Could I watch it again? No. Mm -hmm. Why? Because it's painful. It, it pulled, this is painful, but it only pulled 40% of Train to Busan. 40%. It ain't even, it ain't even, it didn't pull at me. That's you. I'm just I'm that's, sitting that's here you. doing the damn thing with you. Of course, yeah, that's me. That's you. Ain't nobody else here. You, no, them clothes over there might have an opinion. No, they don't. Why? Because they're clothes. Why you being a clothes? You know you were wrong. That's why you're there. You know you were wrong. <laughs> because, okay. All right. This movie, okay, I'm just throw it out there. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm also fucking around. But yeah, it is you. But I'm just saying, it's me too. But there's people that are gonna be like, I felt nothing for these people. I love the Russian. I, yeah, damn it! I love that <laughs> Russian. Mad? I was mad. Also, don't want no black people. But this is all Chinese movie though. Yeah. So you know you get you you know hey so we're in Asia so Russia's you know the, I mean it, it's part of the whole continent you know. Mm. Now this movie. When it comes to the father and things like that, there's, there's, there, look, I'm I'm gonna spoil this part. 
the, the, you know, sacrifice. A lot of people did a lot of sacrificing. Mm-hmm. That is bad enough, you know, the whole, you know how many movies I've seen where at the end, we're coming to help you. Yay. I'm like, yeah, all right, yay. Golf clap. In this, I got choked up. I was choked up. That was the only part that they got me once the when after she made her plea, and and they and they decided to go help. That, yeah. And then the the, the father and what he was saying to his son. Oh goddamn! It's it's, it's kind of getting to me now. Just ah, you know, just brilliant. The movie is brilliant. It's got a kind of anime-like feel in the beginning only. Yeah, in the beginning. Only the beginning and only in the end. That's it. And when I say anime, I don't mean cartoony. I'm talking about the way the the plot and and uh, the tiny little plot goes for that or whatnot. You know, the the chase, the the plot to get out and move around and mm-hmm. all that stuff. Yeah, that, you know. That was, you know, because it was fun. It was pesky, quirky, but, you know, overall, it, it was, you know, it was fun. So, and then you get the whole, the, the sister, you're going to be a little mad at her at first, you know. You're going to be mad at her, but eventually, you know, she's like, she is the heart of the movie. Where there's no one else. She's the heart of the movie. And being the heart of the movie is very important. There's got to be somebody that says, I'm not a robot and I am not driven beyond all, you know, rationality. So there's got to be someone like that and she's like that. She'll make you mad. You know, very little subtle things, very tiny things, but she overcomes it. You know, um... The, the the and then you get to find out her past short sweet to the point you find out about her grandfather his past you find out you know it's so much the beginning is not waiting until the end to explain the boy and father's issues um actually no the the boy's issue with the father you know you don't have to wait until the end or the absolute middle you learn fast but when you when you here, there's a discrepancy. You hear it. You hear it. And it's like, whoa, dude, what is wrong with you? And, you know, and there are multiple missions. Prisoners, prison breaks. they prisoners. They're no longer prisoners. But are they? It's <laughs> what's going on and why? When did you learn to do this? Oh, crap. All right. All kinds of... It's, it's an adventure within three other adventures all about the adventure through space it's crazy and they do it well Mm -hmm. you're not lost the only time you'll get lost is when the music literally overshadows the words yeah because it does that about five junctures and it was little things that you need to hear you know and it bugged me a lot of people might say okay it's dubbed in english Trust me, it gets to the point you don't even think about it. No, you don't it. think about that. You just don't. It's they're talking. This is not kung fu theater. Yeah, <laughs> it ain't like they speak and then a quarter of a second later, then the mouths are move, moving. It ain't like that. Watch the movie. Watch the movie. Watch the movie. I urge you. It's needed. I thought it was a beautifully done movie. The robot. If you've seen Alien, um, you that this the robot, but not so much. <laughs> it's, I mean, you know, you get to be decorated. You're about to leave, and then all of a sudden you stripped of all authority, and it's like what? It's <laughs> the robot did it, mm-hmm. and then the robot's like, gotta take pity on me because it's this. And then the robot got a little philosophical, it seems. You know, it's foolish to think you humans can and could hear over the music and stuff. 
that that was the pro problem. We could have played it back, probably put it on uh, closed caption or something, but we want to be in the moment. Uh, the opening of the movie, there's a lot of foreshadowing, yes, but it's logical foreshadowing. It makes sense. Good foreshadowing means when they say something, it doesn't sound like it's going to come to fruition later. But then later when they use it, it's good foreshadowing when you're kind of like, hey, what is this? And then they're like, we're going to do it. And you're like, whoa, okay, I was thinking kind of, but yeah. I'll give one clue. Comet Shoemaker Levy 9. It's good. I question this in the movie about if it's how things would have, how, how, how the damage happened near the end. But the Earth Thrusters, they were a great character in this whole movie. This whole movie, the Earth Thrusters and Jupiter, Earth's atmosphere being blown off through space because of the thrusters. And the whole concept of, you know, it not being light because there's no character development is because the character is secondary. The star of the whole thing is the planet. The planet and what's happening to it. Think about what that says about the, the people that was reviewing it. Think about that. They care more about the character development than does the Earth survive? Don't that sound a little more familiar with real life? Yeah. Well, I mean, I know climate change is real, but if we say it's not, we can still keep making all this money. So if we lie to everyone, then no one's going to rise up and try to stop us. And that way, we'll just give them false propaganda. So by the time it becomes an issue, there's going to be us versus them. And then, and then we'll keep doing what we're doing while they argue. Because they aren't going to galvanize and be like, better safe than sorry. <laughs> so, yeah. Just throwing it out there. And I gotta say one thing, the earth moves away. I wrote a, I wrote a story a long time ago uh, called Ancient Rain and it practically kind of does what this movie did. I wrote this story 10 years ago? Maybe? Slightly less? Yeah, how, how, is, how, how do you see that? Because in what I wrote, there's a massive comet. Mm -hmm. Ancient. Massive. Nobody wanted to say anything about it. It's come by. It's going to slam in the earth. Nope. Miscalculation. It's going to go by it. But the the outer flow of it, all that melting and breaking ice, is going to engulf the planet. Mm -hmm. It's going to drown everything. Mm -hmm. So everyone did what? They got certain type of home oh, built. Okay, and fortified and, again. And yep. Yeah, and when the earth flooded, they was basically all underwater. Okay. And that's how they lived. The only thing in difference is in mine, you could go from place to place. In the, in the wandering earth, you're stuck where you are unless you somehow go to the surface and, you know, get transported somewhere else, I suppose. Some people who went to the surface were the ones who were working up there to fuel the, the thrusters. Yeah, you got it. The thrusters got to eat dirt. And it's a long damn trip 100 generations that's 2500 years to go 4.2 light years and because of what happened it got cut down by 500 years from what they said mm -hmm. so it's a great movie you know, you know, obviously the earth does survive, but it's everything in between. It's everything leading up to it. We know it survives up to this point, at least. This is just the very beginning of the journey. It's three years, and three years they might have just got out of Earth's solar system. Might have, after that boost. It might have. Or it might just be nearing Neptune or Uranus. How the hell do they steer? The uh, they steer because of the the uh Earth thrusters. They remember what they was doing. 
Yeah, but I mean, the thing that was like keeping them on course, kind of. It was guiding them. Yeah, motherfuckers better build a new one. It took thirteen years to build that one. It took. It? it took thirteen. No, it took thirty. Years. Thirty. They, they were. They were planning it. <laughs> it took thirty years to build that one. They got the plan. They need to get started. That's what I'm saying. Get started. Why didn't you have a backup? All right. Hey, look, everybody know they have a backup. Everybody know they have a backup. You know, it ain't like they had one space shuttle. We launched it. Oh, this one, you know, had an accident. Well, that's it. Space program screwed. Mm-hmm. No, you have backups. They should have had backups. But yeah, that's all that. I, that's, that's. I mean, the movie's great. I urge you to check it out. It's beautifully made. It's beautiful. I mean, the look, the visuals, perfect. You know, the the drama, perfect. Situations and what in the hell? There's a lot of what the hell. Actually, no, maybe three. But yet, nobody did anything too stupid. That's some stupid in the beginning. But after that, he had just kind of stupid in the beginning, and the girl with the gun, and that's about it, really. So, you know, we gonna wrap it up right here. I did most of the talking. I guess I was saying things that would, you know, was on Cedar's mind. Um. So, I hope y'all check it out and let us know what you thought about the last review. I know it was short. I know it was short, but it was, you know, eh, you know, I figured I'd give it a test and see how y'all like that. This was longer. Y'all sit back, chill, and all that other stuff. And I didn't want to give out too much because the, the, the movie is a joy ride. It's beautiful. You could, I mean, you, you the scenery, seeing how, I mean, I'm going to say one thing. You have, I don't know if you pick it out or not but the upheaval there was a massive glacial upheaval and it they captured a lot you know there's a whale maybe you have to you have to judge that one on your own <laughs> but uh if you do you have anything else you want to add if no, you want this okay <laughs> she got a headache and yeah i'm not feeling too well either <sighs> i'll get some hot some hot tea some some uh, was it hibiscus? Yeah, if you want to drink that stuff. Yeah, hibiscus, ginger, turmeric, and whatnot, and lavender and chamomile. Mix all that together. That's what I'm gonna do. So you know, it's been Cedric, and at points Cedra, <laughs> for CR reviews of the Wandering Earth 2019. I urge you to check it out, as well as tinyurl.com, CR Convo, and CR Banking. Threw it in there. Good grief, that was so smooth. Anyway, (laughs) thank you for listening.